welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and I just watched The Night Eats the World, which I found on Amazon Prime Video Streaming. I am pretty sure it's available other places, but that's where I watched it. The movie centralizes around our main character, Sam, who goes to what seems like probably an ex-girlfriend's house to get his tapes back. Um, kind of huge rager going on that he doesn't want to be a part of. He just wants his stuff. He just wants to get out of there. He ends up going into a back room where all of his stuff is boxed up, has a nosebleed, and falls asleep in a chair. He wakes up the next day and everything is trashed. There's blood everywhere. He opens up the door to see, I think it was his ex-girlfriend, maybe some other party goers in the stairwell, and kind of says like, hey, and they turn around freaking out, definitely zombies, and he slams the door. So he kind of watches everything unfold. He can see from the window, there's another apartment complex across the street, and there's people running out. One runs into a car and honks, and he's yelling, you know, don't go out there, and he watches them pretty much get torn apart. So the bulk of the movie is him checking out different rooms in the apartment, trying to figure out how he can survive. He's trying to ration things. He's trying to keep himself, you know, physically fit in case he probably has in the back of his mind if he has to run, if he has to fight, and kind of trying to keep his mind together as well. I'll leave it off there as this is spoiler free. What did I like about this movie? The gore is so good. There's not a lot of it, but what we do get is really good. The um, zombies that are outside, we do get some tight shots on. One of them has, you know, missing from like maybe halfway down his knee. And the prosthetic looked really good. The blood looked really good. I was very happy about that. We don't, like I said, we don't get a lot because it is pretty much the whole movie just him in the apartment looking out. So it is what it is. But they did a good job. I liked that this really surprised me. It was more the psychological aspect of feeling like you're the last person in the world and you're trying to connect with literally anything around you, even if it's a zombie doctor trapped in an elevator. You're just trying to have some semblance of normalcy and that to me, I always wonder about that in other zombie movies because they don't really go into it. It's more the survival aspect and how you hide and how you collect water and trying to find food, but not really the horrible emotional toll that has got to take on you. And they really do explore that, particularly in kind of a twist scene, or it, it, it lasts for a bit, and after it's over, you're just like, oh my god, that's actually horrible, and you really do put yourself in Sam's shoes and try to, you know, you, you really feel for the guy because the things he's going through, anyone would go through. And it's very hard to watch him deal with it and try to cope. And he's a musician and he's trying to have at least that aspect of his life kind of keep going. He wants to create, he wants to entertain himself and it's just it's sad it's really sad but i'm glad that they had that be a huge chunk of the movie um i liked how sentimental sam was there's a scene where he's cleaning the floor in the apartment he's in because it's disgusting and it's covered in blood and there's a gunshot and at first you think maybe it's someone that can hear him scrubbing above and they're thinking maybe it's a zombie shambling around. He looks down and it unfortunately was one of the tenants that took his own life. He breaks open the floor, goes down there and it's the tenant and his wife and he does something really sweet. He was gonna just chuck them over the railing, which I mean, logically, that's a good idea because if there's a festering body directly below you, there's a really high chance that you're going to get sick because there's lots of bacteria and, yeah, maybe not the best idea, but it was really sweet. He put them both in bed, zipped them up. He put, you know, 
personal belongings on them, put a picture between them. I thought that was really cute. So, my dislikes. I mean, there's really not a lot that I dislike about this movie. There's not a lot of flashbacking that's unnecessary. It's really all in the moment, and I appreciate that. We don't get a huge chunk of Sam's backstory, but we really don't need it because we're with him in the here and now while the movie's taking place, and I feel like that was appropriate. Maybe I would have liked a little more gore. My one dislike, I will put this there, there's a scene with a cat, and it's not shown, but there is there is animal cruelty, which probably a lot of people would be like, well, the cat deserved it, but no, it's a cat, and cats have different rules and laws. You can't... Cats abide by their own things, so I didn't like that, but they didn't show it, which was cool, because I could just think maybe he's shooting at a zombie and not a cat, because who the hell does that? So... I do rate this a 4.5 out of 5. I really, really did enjoy it. I would definitely watch it again. I feel like it's one of those, it's a happy ending maybe, but it's really not a happy ending because of everything that's going on and everything that this poor guy's been through. You just, you really do identify with his struggle, which is amazing. And even though I'm not the biggest fan of the running infected or the running zombie, I will let that slide. So, as I said, I did find this on Amazon Prime streaming video, and you should give it a watch. Maybe you'll like it. It's a newer horror movie, which for me, that's like unheard of, but there you go. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams. Have you seen this movie? What were your thoughts? Did you feel the same way I did with connecting with Sam? How would you have liked the story to play out otherwise? Leave a comment down below. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator, and my reviews solo and with the groom are also available in podcast form on iTunes. Also, please check out The Farsighted on iTunes and Facebook. Awesome creators there. And, um, yeah. Enjoy the movie, guys.